Hey, good afternoon. It's a beautiful day here in Reno, Nevada. I want to continue a conversation I've been having about enemies. And enemies are people who consistently put their self-interest in front of the shared purpose. And today I want to tell you that we are defined by our enemies. And I want to mention four ways that we are defined by our enemies. Number one, what you are willing to stand for. Number two, who, you're, who you are willing to stand up to and when you're willing to stand up. Number three, how you stand up. And number four, what happens to you when you fall and you will fall. Okay, so the first one, what are you willing to stand for? If you have no enemies, you don't stand for anything. All of the great leaders throughout history um, have always had enemies. And if you find yourself in the organization and uh, no one is opposing you, it's because you stand for nothing. And you might think that's okay, but I will tell you that if you're not with us, you're against us. And by your silence, by your refusal to take a stand, you actually do choose a side. You choose to side with those who put self-interest above purpose. Because what you're saying is, that's okay with me. All right, who you're willing to stand up to and when you're willing to stand up. I mean, this is really difficult because you're going to run into people who have position and power that you do not, and you always have to be able to say, no, I disagree, I'm concerned, and to be able to say those in professional ways and to consistently be able to say those. You can't stand for the purpose and not be willing to stand up to anyone at any time and how you stand up you always want to stand up with grace so whether you win the issue or lose the issue you want to do it gracefully because it's not about you it's about the purpose the reason you even had to stand up in the first place was because you're a purposeful actor and you're trying to move the purpose forward and then finally, what happens to you when you fall, and you will fall as many or maybe more times than you succeed. And that will really define you. When you lose the issue, when you are defeated, does it defeat you? Does it destroy you? Or does it cause you to come back with even more commitment and resolve to stand for the right thing, to stand for what matters, that shared purpose? So um, I hope you found that helpful. And I hope it's as beautiful where you are today as it is here in Reno, Nevada. Have a great day.